After determining the kill curve with our selection antibiotic in the previous video, we will now demonstrate how to transfect antibiotic-sensitive parental cells with a plasmid containing a resistance gene to the selection antibiotic. We will continue using CHO cells and G418 disulfate as the selection antibiotic. For the transfection step, we need cells, detached according to standard cell culture procedures, culture medium, medium without additives, a 24 well plate, transfection reagent, plasmid, selection antibiotic, tips, microtubes, needles, a vortex, a laminar flow, and an incubator. First, prepare a 15 milliliter tube containing a 2 milliliter parental cell suspension. The cell concentration used should be the same as the cell concentration that became 80% confluent after 24 hours of incubation as determined in the previous kill curve step. Add 500 microliters of the cell suspension in three different wells in a 24 well plate. One well will be used for transfection and the other two will be used as positive and negative controls. Place the 24-well plate for 24 hours in a 5% CO2-controlled incubator at 37 degrees Celsius. After 24 hours of incubation, each of the three wells should appear to be 80% confluent. This cell density is ideal for transfection as the cells are in the proliferation stage and growing exponentially. We will transfect one of these wells with the plasmid according to the protocol of the transfection reagent manufacturer. One well will serve as a negative control and will lack the plasmid and antibiotic in order to monitor the growth of the parental cells. The remaining third well will serve as a positive control and will contain only the selection antibiotic G418 and culture medium to monitor the effect of the antibiotic on cell death. Generally speaking, the transfection step involves simply mixing medium-lacking additives with the transfection reagent and plasmid, incubating the mixture, and adding it to the non-transfected cells. The protocol obtained from the transfection reagent of your choice will specify these parameters. The protocol we obtained from this transfection reagent manufacturer calls for mixing the medium-lacking additives with the transfection reagent and plasmid by pipetting up and down. Next, we incubate the mixture for 15 minutes at room temperature. After 15 minutes of incubation, we will add the mixture to the well containing the cells that will be transfected. and place the 24 well plate in a 5% CO2 controlled incubator at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. After 24 hours of incubation, remove the medium from each of the three wells and add normal culture medium to one of the two non-transfected wells to serve as a negative control. Add freshly prepared selection medium containing the minimum concentration of selection antibiotic as determined by the kill curve step to the transfected well and the remaining positive control well. The negative control is expected to grow to confluence and the positive control is expected to die. Place the 24 well plate in the 5% CO2 controlled incubator at 37 degrees Celsius. Examine cell death and survival and refresh the selection medium every three to four days for 10 days to maintain selective pressure as the cells will continually metabolize and eliminate the antibiotic. 
Place the 24 well plate in the 5% CO2 controlled incubator at 37 degrees Celsius after each time the selective medium is refreshed. After 10 days of incubation and maintaining selective pressure with the selection antibiotic, we are ready for selecting a single resistant cell clone.